Hello everyone. Today we're going to be going through a replay of myself. So this is actually a kind of test of uh, Riot's um, replay functionality. And I think there's going to be some some fun stuff that we can do here. Um, this will probably allow me to make um, slower or quicker videos. And it'll be less kind of fluff time um, between just kind of fill. So let's see if we can uh, speed it up twice as fast. So I'm going to leave it on me for now. Um, comps are we have me as Garen in the top lane. I haven't played Garen in a long time, but he's a lot of fun. Or can be. They have so Garen, Yasuo, uh, John Amid, who's right here, who is apparently death in drunk, which is uh, the thing, I guess. Um, get back down to 1%, 1 times speed. Lucian, double Lucian, tanky support, tanky top, mobile jungler. He's by far a better jungler. Um, and then mids. Jana mid is can be effective. She's almost always played as a support, but it can be amusing and sometimes effective to throw her mid, get her some AP. She can clear waves really easily. So I'm playing Garen. Garen's main role is to kind of bully lanes early. He tends to have a good amount of damage and kind of lane control. And late game he just becomes a brick. He's incredibly difficult to kill. Um, there's not a whole lot Yasuo can do without kind of hard CC in the lane. I mean, he's got his knockup, I suppose. I mean, not anymore. He's gonna die. Um, yeah, there's just nothing to be done about that, unfortunately. So that's a bit of a bad start. Um, Garen's all about kind of grinding out your opponent. He doesn't have a whole lot of burst. Not since they tweaked his damages. He used to be really strong, as in upsettingly strong in lane, but not for a while. But, so his passive... Oh, nice. Let's see if we can... Uh, Go back and see what happened here. Again, testing out features. So here we go. So the training in lane. Getting low. That's good. Problem's a good lane bully. So let's see what happens here. So the Brom passive goes off. The ignite goes out. And then the... Ooh, nice! The double shot with the, the light. The piercing light. That's pretty cool. Anyway, so Garen is going to be the focus of this video. He's not a champion you see very often because, quite frankly, he's not really very good in this metagame. I don't know if there is a metagame given the current suite of champions in which he will be good. He has no hard crowd control. He has no engage. He's got a decent kind of finisher ult. But, yeah... The best way to think of Garion of, of Garion of Garin is a sort of Darius downgrade. What's the point of Darius? The point of Darius is to wade into fights, spin around, do damage, and clean up. Garin does that, except his ult only triggers once, unlike Darius's, who can chain it together and um, really just do absurd things in a team fight. He manages to pick up one more. See if he can do some fancy stuff. He's got the moves. Uh oh. That's a shame. So that ended up being a one for one. It's not the worst. But not the best. Nasus goes B. I kinda and then immediately teleports back. Um So, yeah. Garen is passive. Or basically after a period of time. He will start regenerating a percentage of his maximum health. It's not terribly impactful. It's like a lesser version of Mundo Ult initially, or Mundo Passive. 
However, late game it becomes very, very strong, particularly as the lane lanes get longer and longer, and the, he gets more and more health. It can be very, very impactful. Um, so that's his passive. Uh, his Q is his kind of um, well, his only crowd control, and it's a silence. He does not have very good crowd control. Um, so basically what he does is doubles up his attack, as you can see there. So you can auto-attack, immediately hit Q, and it will... Um, let's, let's just do something like that for now. Um, it'll immediately attack again, like so. Auto-attack Q. It's an auto-attack reset. Um, so it's very useful, it gives him a bit of a speed boost, like that. Gets rid of slows as well, which is very important, particularly against someone like Nasus, who has a, uh, um, a wither, which is very strong. Um, his W is the kind of sort of thing you put a rank into it and then forget about it. Um, it's good, it's effective, gives him armor and resistance every time he kills a unit um, up to 30, so that's good. Um, his, when he activates it, he gets a defensive shield, which kind of lowers um, lowers incoming damage, which again is good, but it's just underwhelming as a whole. Lucian's going to get out. <laughs> Brom flashes into or out of the range there and ends up dying. That was rather silly. So Garen's E is his most signature move. It's his judgment. Basically, he just spins around in a circle for three seconds, dealing damage over time. Um, and yeah, you'll see me use this a couple times. That's his spin to win. He used to be uh, almost completely the brainless champion, where you just rush in, Q, E, just be around the enemy team, and then just repeat that until they died. But they tweak some of his damage, so he doesn't do quite as much. So this is his E. So it does decent damage to minions. It's not a whole lot. Um, so I'm going to teleport in. Speaking of wards, we had done a video about wards earlier. So I'm going to run in and see if I can do anything. Again, I don't have any hard crowd control, so I'm kind of relying on Braum. This is the Terra Ult. Once that pops, they're invulnerable, so there's no point for me to attack them, so I kind of wait. Um, but uh, yeah, we don't get anything done, unfortunately. If they had landed a crowd control, I would have been able to use my damage to kill him. Let's see what's happening here. So they're taking Dragon as we do this, which is a bold move. So we get the first Dragon, which is... Uh, or they get the first Dragon, we get the first Tower, which is initial advantage to us, but the Dragons will be more impactful late game. So we're rotating mid. Again, I'm trying to roam as much as I can. My passive will heal me so I don't have to um, do anything super crazy. So let's see what I can do here. So coming in, Janna has a lot of crowd control, so she sets up the swing to get very low. Get close, I flash, Q, ult. That is the most satisfying ult in the game by far. Let's see if I can redo this here. One more time, slowing it down. Where am I? Alright, so let's go here. See what we got. Coming into the fight. Zooming in. If I spin to win, get kicked back. Here I go. That's glorious. That's basically why you play Garen. You don't play him for intense tactical decisions or uh, dramatic team play, you play him because his ult is incredibly satisfying. Let's speed it up a little bit. We'll see what's happening here. So we talked a couple um, videos ago about warding. Um, so let's see. Again, uh, we are the red team, so let's see what we see. We have a ward here, a ward here, perma ward here, one there, so it's not terrible. It's not very good. Um, again, 
if you can't see where the enemy is, then you can't kind of plan for what they're doing. So stuff happens like that, which is the technical term for plays like that are bad. Um, so yeah, if, if they had had better vision, maybe they would have been able to survive. Um, get a nice pick off on the it's in there. Swain's very hard to kill because of his ultimate. A little flock of crows is always uh, healing him, but we managed to, to kill him anyway. Um, Nasus is tricky. Nasus just wants to sit in lane forever and farm. And once he gets enough lifesteal to outscale my regen, I can't really do much with that. So I kind of have to push and then roam. So right now I'm trying to push and get, uh, get mid here. So I have currently, let's see what I have. I have my Bomby Cinder and Adorn Shield. That's pretty much it. Uh, my passive heals me, and I don't have any mana, so I don't have to worry about that. So I can afford to very often stay out um, out on the rift for quite a long time. This allows Nasus to get a good chunk of damage into the tower. I'm going to try to stay mid. Um, I can't really reach top in time, so I can just try to hang around here. Brahms off doing who knows what. Um, so Garen is almost a classic case of a sponge, sponge tank. He doesn't have a whole lot of ways to kind of impact the enemy team by, except by just sheer damage. He can't make them stop moving. He can't make them, you know, be displaced. He can't do any of that. Um, so he kind of has to essentially hope that the enemy is going to target him and do damage, um, which you know sometimes it does, but. Um, Sometimes it does not. So I'm just going to go B. Um, I've got a decent chunk of gold. I can go buy stuff. Jana and Nasus are happy to just um, wave push and do their own thing. Again, AP Jana. She's got decent ratios on her um, on her kit, so she can wave clear rather effectively. So I teleport in after I'm seeing this little engage. Um, I teleport too late, quite frankly. Um, so I'm kind of running in trying to do stuff. Not much is happening. But I know that I can also push top. Might not be able to kill top. Um, but I'll be able to get some, some damage in. Swain's pushing mid. One downside of having Bomby Cinder is that I have an aura of damage. So the turret will shoot me if I get too close. I know he can't kill me. Um, one interesting thing about Garen as well is that he's got this little uh, icon next to his name. What that means is that, I'll show you here, uh, he, this character, whoever his icon is there, is marked as the villain. And will take uh, extra damage from him. So it's kind of an, in, uh, an interesting attempt at kind of making him a bit more relevant. Um, it doesn't really work. Just because, again, he has no hard crowd control. You can't really play champions that don't have crowd control. It doesn't work. Um, so again, the Soteric ultimate's coming off. I know I can't damage them. I should have stayed up close with them. That was silly on my part. Um, so... I think we have to, uh, to watch that again. This is going to get pretty messy. But let's see if we can... Slow it down here. I actually don't even kill him. <laughs> John gets the kill. So I can kind of. I can deal with that. Uh, in the meantime, Swain is almost dying, but again, his ult heals him up. So my role as Garen is again to sponge, soak up a whole bunch of damage, try to split push as best I can, um, push waves. My passive allows me to stay out uh, out of base for a long period of time, so I can kind of afford to just wander around the map and uh, and do terrible things to minions. Um, this is a bit of a skirmish. It's a bit silly. There's not a whole lot to really be done here. Um, our um, crowd control as a team is yeah. So I knock up, 
and then basically these two guys here, so Janna and Brahm. Um, so without them being able to kind of land ground control, there's not a whole lot we can do to kind of convince the other people to to uh, stay around. Um, so we're kind of a, a reactive cop. If they all dive in at us, then we can do stuff. But right now, I'm low. Um, there's not a whole lot to be done, so I leave. Um, these guys stay. That I feel was a very bold move, and by bold I mean bad. So, John tries to disengage. John is very good at making the enemy team kind of stay put for a while. So there is that. Um, I signal for Dragon. Um, I, we can probably kill it with Lucian, but my Dragon damage as a Garen is not terribly effective. So let's speed up. Uh, they're going to get top terror, there's nothing we can do with that. Nasus has built one of the coolest items in game, which is a Zerot. Zerot? Zerot portal, which spawns little itty bitty minions automatically on, um, on a timer um, for a duration. And then, oop, a little glitch there. And those minions will kind of push. So it's a good way to exert pressure on a lane. Passive pressure, you just put the item down. And forget about it. And they have a pretty good range too. Um, so, for instance, he put it here, and it probably will it'll be able to reach past this um, turret. So it'll cover a good chunk of ground. Um, so I've got, I've got a awkward little fight here. By the time Tarek Alt hit the uh, regen from Nasus was too strong. So I kind of go back in, ult him, still doesn't kill him, and then the turret shot hits him off. Nasus has some magic resist, not a whole lot, um, but it was enough to survive, but the turret shot killed him, so I got another kill. So that's pretty cool. So I'm 3-0-2. I'm doing pretty well. Um, but this game is a bit a bit sloppy from both sides, so let's speed it up a bit. So we had talked a Brief, brief bit about team composition. I think this is a good opportunity to talk more about it. This is a normal game, um, as ranked as reset. I'm not putting a whole lot of effort into um, rank at this point in time. But what I am doing is just having fun trying out new champions or old champions. Um, so we talked about having a balanced team composition, a team composition that can do things well. well what can we do? Well, we have me as a tank, which is good. Um, we have Yasuo as kind of a melee bruiser dude. Um, we have Janna for disengage, wave push, some sustain. Um, Braum for again more kind of brawly bruisery um, support. So basically, our game plan is to get in close to their faces, let me and Braum soak, and then let Yasuo and Lucian kind of clean up. Um, which isn't a bad plan. I mean, it'd be better if I had crowd control as a champion to kind of make them stay put. I mean, you can have all the damage you want, but if the enemy team just walks away, then you're kind of out of luck. So Darren has decent damage, he's got a good finishing ult, good sustain, but crowd control is just not there. Um, I haven't even gotten close to getting tanky yet, so I'm, this um, you don't really see his... Uh, um, his potential for, for tanking up, but he's, he's fun. So I'm running in, another glorious ult, which I think merits another slowdown. So where am I here? So here I go. So I'm charging in, my Q's active, which means my next attack will Silence, silence him, immediately try to hit him some more, shot goes in, shot goes in. That's pretty manly, I have to say. In the category of manly things, I present that ultimate. So here we go, back to full speed. Um, we have a pretty big gold advantage, um, we're kind of carving up towers. That problem was not very good, at least in all was decent. So we're just kind of carving up the map. 
Um, so our team comp again in that in that situation, the Nasus came in to us, and we were able to kind of just walk up to him and do damage, much like Lucian is letting them do. So the kind of ideal situation would be something like that, where they would engage, we would hold them off, and then counterattack. Because we don't really have a way besides a Braum ultimate to kind of make them stay put. Um, so I just kind of scoot out there. Nasus and Yasuo are busy hitting, busy hitting each other with their weapons. But uh, Yasuo, even one in four, can uh, take out Onassis in a range of minions. Onassis was not uh, having the best time there. So we kill him off, get to push down the lane. Uh, they're just kind of holding off mid. Janna with her ratios and her knockup from the tornado. She can hold off waves a long time. So there's no worry about that. Their, enemy, their team comp, they have Anasis, again tanky. They have a Swain, a Bruisery, Lee Sin, Bruisery, jump in. Um, so we had stayed at the turret. I'm just kind of wandering around trying to kill him. Focus on the tower, get the tower down. And they re-engage, so I just kind of queue him and spin around a bunch of times. At this point, I'm pretty sure I'm dead. So I'm just trying to buy time, seeing if something can happen. But they show up, I get stunned. That's that. So that was my first death. So that was a bit, a bit saddening. Their team comp, again, they same type of team comp. They kind of want, um, want us to engage into them. Um, and we just got ahead enough where we were able to roll them over. So there you go. We win. Um, it's a pretty straightforward game. Um, bruisery tanks, bruisery supports, um, short range mages, Lucian's. It's pretty straightforward. Um, Garen's fun. He's not terribly complex. He, uh, he doesn't have a mechanics to speak of. You just, you know, there's no crowd control to chain. There's no in-depth decision making, really. Um, I'll upload some more Garen games in the future, but I wanted to do just a quick one to get back in the swing of things. So, hope you enjoyed it. Um, if you liked it, like the video, subscribe, and uh, we'll see you, uh, see you all next time. Peace.